The end of the road. It comes for us all. Hold on! For the Winchester boys. A lot more than just the wants. That's the job. And these knuckleheads are too tough or too dumb to give it up. Good night, Chuck. Night, bitch. The road calls, they hit the gas. We got work to do. They don't know any other way. And as their road comes to an end, we set out to make things right. One last time. She was left for dead in a graveyard of Detroit steel. That's where we found her. There's nothing to fix. Barely any parts worth salvaging. If there's only one working part, that's enough. We're not just going to give up on it. OK. In the heart of Kansas and in the hands of experts, she slowly came back to life. Bumpers have been installed, rear taillights, front grill. It has the AV2000 radio in it. We've got the tuck and roll interior all done, or as the hot rodders like to say, roll and pleat. Devil's trap installed, weapons box in. 454 engine, big block, 400 horse. She should sound like a bad mamma jamma. I mean, come on, this is a car of a lifetime. Trust me, this thing's still gonna be badass when it's 40. With the help of restorer Rick Blevins and a team of talented craftsmen, she became once again a thing of beauty, stronger than when she was new. You know, it was these two idiots who reminded me that no one is ever useless. That it doesn't matter what kind of shape you're in when you're family. Our story is coming to a close. But the road, it never really ends. And with this old baby looking and driving as good as new, one of you will get a chance to carry on.